So far we have seen that the point P which is making a simple harmonic motion, it is at a particular point where displacement is y. This y is related with time t and we call it displacement equation and that displacement equation, displacement equation. That is y is equal to a sin omega t. Here it has certain velocity and that velocity we have got two equation. One is a omega cos omega t and other equation with reference to y. It was omega root a square minus y square. These were the two relations. One t related, one y related. Okay. Now we will find what is the acceleration of point P here when the time is t and the displacement is y. That will be known as acceleration equation and it is quite simple. We know that acceleration is equal to acceleration. We let us give it a certain symbol and this we will write as alpha because we will not write a because a we have reserved for linear acceleration or we have put here a in this motion a is this that is amplitude. So we will use alpha for acceleration. Now here alpha is equal to differentiation with respect to time of velocity this. So here we have is d by dt of function we will use v which has a function t. So this is a omega cos omega t. Okay, let us differentiate it. So a omega are constant like that d by dt of cos omega t is minus sin omega t into omega. The same way cos omega t sin omega t then differentiation of omega t is omega. Now this omega and this omega they multiply and we this minus comes out we get here minus a omega square sin omega t. Okay. Now in this please see a sin omega t a sin omega t what is this y. So this we can write as minus omega square y. So this is the equation where we have acceleration in terms of t and this is the equation where we have acceleration in terms of y. Acceleration related to y, acceleration related to t. So these are the two equations we have for acceleration. Now let us see what are the minimum and maximum acceleration and where are these at minimum and at maximum value. So special cases minimum acceleration. What should be the condition of minimum acceleration when y is equal to 0 acceleration is 0. And where is y 0? The answer is this y is 0 at mean position. So at mean position. So at mean position minimum acceleration how much a is equal to 0. Where at mean position. So please remember at mean position acceleration is 0. Now maximum value. What is the condition for maximum acceleration? The value of y should be maximum. And what is the maximum value of y? Maximum acceleration at maximum acceleration at y is equal to a because the maximum value of displacement is plus a or minus a. So at y is equal to plus minus a acceleration is maximum. Let me write it alpha. Okay. So 
where is this condition at the extremes at the extremes so maximum alpha will be at the extremes here and here the acceleration will be maximum and how much alpha max is equal to in this equation this is the displacement which is changing put its maximum value its maximum value is a so this will be omega square into a so i write it a omega square plus minus this will be plus a minus a multiply with this plus a minus a so we have maximum value plus minus a omega square this is the maximum value of acceleration where it is at the extreme this is minimum value of acceleration where it is at mean position so these are all the values of acceleration and at any point y how much is that this at any time t this so in this way we have different acceleration at different points what is the significance of this minus this minus is very significant it shows that when the direction of alpha and direction of y are opposite to each other negative sign show that direction of y and alpha are opposite to each other yes okay so this is all about acceleration here what we have seen the direction of y and alpha are opposite to each other and what does this show alpha is at numerator y is at numerator omega is a constant so this gives us another characteristic that acceleration is acceleration is directly proportionate to displacement acceleration is directly proportionate to displacement 1 2 so this the motion of p c it has a characteristic acceleration is proportionate to displacement and the direction of displacement and acceleration are opposite to each other that means if displacement is in this direction acceleration is in this direction that is towards center if displacement is in this direction acceleration is in this direction that is towards center so initially we wrote three conditions of simple harmonic motion number 1 the acceleration should always be directed towards center and that you have seen here number 2 it should be proportionate to displacement that is here and number 3 it should be represented by sin omega t function that is here so what type of motion p has so p has a simple harmonic motion because of this therefore p is doing a simple harmonic motion what we are telling from so long that it is doing an oscillation now we will say it is doing simple harmonic motion because it is meeting all the criteria three criteria is number 1 acceleration directly proportionate to displacement this number 2 it is always directed towards center and number 3 it is represented by a simple harmonic function of trigonometry either sin or cos so therefore the motion of p is a simple harmonic motion okay
now in this simple harmonic motion uh, the time period t if it is moving with a velocity omega we know that t and omega they are related to each other now here can we find out the time period t in terms of acceleration and displacement so we can find a relation which will tell us value of t see here alpha is equal to min this alpha is equal to minus omega square y this minus is about direction so what is the magnitude of acceleration omega square y if i write here omega square y is equal to a alpha acceleration then omega is equal to how much root alpha upon y omega is what 2 pi upon t is equal to root alpha upon y so how much is t equal to t is equal to t is equal to here we have 2 pi t goes here 2 pi and this will get reverse root y upon alpha please remember this formula the time period is related to displacement and acceleration how do we write this equation i write it here once again clearly this is time period t is equal to 2 pi square root displacement upon acceleration this at any point we will measure the displacement and whatever is the acceleration here if we know what is the displacement upon acceleration then we will come to know the time period please remember this is a required formula to find out time period of simple harmonic motion it is related to displacement and acceleration okay so these are we have studied displacement formulas velocity formulas acceleration formulas time period formulas in simple harmonic motion now all this i will just make a chart so that you can remember it in a nutshell Thank you.